We're bringing the first part of the three-part series with John Oliver. Yesterday, Americans watched in shock as even watered-down gun legislation died on the floor of the Senate. But that is exactly where it belongs, according to gun lobbyists like Philip Van Cleve of the Virginia Citizens Defense League. The Second Amendment, you know, is, is sacrosanct. You hold up this sign whenever I make a suggestion that you think is infringing upon your Second Amendment rights, okay? Okay. Assault weapons ban. Boom, there it is. Increased background checks. Really? Yes. Just for, just for background checks? We don't do background checks for the First Amendment. Okay, so let's just try this one. Okay. Nice and easy. Sure. A mandatory one-hour waiting period if you buy a gun. Why? Why are you mandatory? Are you kidding me? Unless I can see a reason. No. I can't think of anything that I support. Because at the end of the day, none of it works. Exactly. Gun control does not work. What if, hypothetically speaking, what if gun control could work? Which obviously it can't, so we know that it won't, so that's not a problem. But what if it could, due to that time that it did? Okay, when, when was that? Australia. Yes, Australia. In 1996, a Conservative Prime Minister, John Howard, instituted sweeping gun control laws following a mass shooting that shocked the nation. So should we be learning from this effective example? Of course not. I guess if we're going to go to planet X and say it's not the United States, it's some, some other planet, different people, different everything. I don't know, yeah. yeah. It, it, but in the real world with human beings, it's not going to work and we don't control it work. Unfortunately, not only is Australia actually in the real world, even their animals can holster weapons. So, who was right about gun control? There was only one way to find out. Confront the man responsible. Mr. Prime Minister, let's begin in the formal Australian way. G'day. How, are you, how do you do? Obviously, gun control doesn't work. It can't work. It will never work. So, how was your scheme a failure? Well, my scheme was not a failure. We had a massacre at a place called Port Arthur 17 years ago, and there have been none uh, since. Zero gun massacres? Hold on. Did gun control actually work? It stopped one thing. That could also be a statistical anomaly. Yeah, it was just their mass shootings disappeared. But there were so few of them. whoop de doo whoop de doo Yeah. whoop de doo Yes. Mass shootings were rare anyhow. Exactly. They probably barely had a massacre before 1996. There were about 13 in the previous 18 years. In the 18 years before Port Arthur, there were 13 mass shootings. Yes. For almost one a year. Yes, I was unaware they had that many. Mass being, what, more than two people at a time? More than four. More than four. Okay. whoop de doo But perhaps there were other non whoop de doo side effects. The homicide rate uh, involving the use of guns has declined significantly by factors of up to 50 and 60 percent. And the incidence of youth suicides involving guns has declined dramatically. whoop de can do Help me out here, Philip. Homicides with guns went down. Suicide with guns also went down. Zero mass shootings. What, what they have, Australia has, still has murders, rapes and robberies, last I checked. Unless you can get rid of 100% of crime, it's not worth doing at all. Well, put it this way. It's illegal to have crack cocaine anywhere in the United States. Do you think if somebody really wants it, they can get their hands on crack cocaine in America? So unless we can completely get rid of drugs, there's no point in having drug laws at all. Let me think about that for a minute. Um, well, I guess effectively, it doesn't work. You can't argue with Philip. Even his logic is bulletproof. Well, let me, let me put it to you this way. There are more drownings in backyards where they have pools. If they don't have a pool, there are no drownings in backyards, okay? So, the U.S. has a very high number of guns. Therefore, there's going to be more chances for somebody to be killed with a gun. Right. 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 That's my point. Philip might think that living in a society with dramatically reduced gun violence is a whoop de doo and people in Australia couldn't agree with him more. Whoop-de-doo! Whoop-de-doo, mate! Whoop-de-doo! Whoop-de-doo, for whatever that means.